I'm Tracy Stutter with Discovery Channel. And I'm Matt Dansko. And we're here at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst to learn how scientists are turning wood, like these sticks, and that tree, into gasoline. George Huber and his graduate students Torn Carlson and Tushar Vispute have discovered a way to take woody biomass, that's ordinary wood chips, grasses, and other agricultural wastes, and convert them into gasoline, diesel fuel, jet fuel, and even home heating oil. We are trying to make the exact same type of fuel that we already use today, gasoline and diesel fuel. Right. Uh, the big advantage of woody biomass is it will have significantly reduced CO2 emissions because when you grow the biomass, it consumes the CO2, and when, when we burn our fuel, it will release CO2 just like it does gasoline, but the whole net cycle is there's very little net CO2 emissions because the CO2 comes from the, the plants rather than getting the carbon from the ground and drilling to produce the oil, we're getting our carbon from the biomass which gets it from the CO2 in the air. In other words, biomass recycles carbon dioxide that was already present in our atmosphere to begin with. Not to mention it only costs 10 to $30 a barrel compared to $120 a barrel for oil and can be used in ordinary car engines. So are these the, the things that you're converting into the fuel? Here, here are a few different feedstocks we have. Mm -hmm. This one right here is, uh, is corn stover. So this is what's left over after corn is harvested, that's, then that's you have exactly all those right. corn stalks you have left all over. The corn stalks. This is wood. And we have some more wood samples over there where we went down to our local sawmill and yeah. we actually took some, they had some pine sawdust. So let's talk about how you convert something like this into a liquid fuel. What you do is you basically just heat it in an inert environment and then it basically decomposes and starts breaking down. Once in a reactor, the biomass molecules make their way inside the pores of catalysts, which are substances that increase the rate of chemical reactions. A chemical reaction takes place in the catalysts and out comes the gasoline. And this is uh, gasoline that came from uh, biomass. So a farmer that grows corn could grow corn to sell the corn as a vegetable, but then also the rest of it he could sell For to somebody. For biofuel, that's right. When do you think all, any, any of this would come to fruition? The, the cellulosic biofuels, I think in the next five to 10 years, you're gonna see a lot of it that are gonna be introduced at the pump. The consumer will probably not even know they're even putting in this type of biofuel into, into their car. For Discovery News, I'm Matt Danzico.